What's up guys, Quizzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to set up uh, like a low poly uh, isometric scene uh, type deal project. Uh, this is just like an introduction into it. Hopefully I can do more tutorials if this gets enough uh, support and feedback and stuff. So uh, I'm just going to get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project. So file new, and then to start off, we're gonna go to our settings. We're gonna go to output, and we're just gonna set up our, our project. So I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080. So it's like a 1080p type deal. Um, I'm just gonna leave everything else the same. Uh, then I'm gonna go to save, and then I'm gonna go to PNG, and then just save it wherever you'd want to save it. I'll just save it at my save it as on my desktop as tutorial uh, but I won't be rendering anything so it doesn't matter for me but when you do your project and you render uh, that's what you want to have um, want to go to anti-aliasing and I'm gonna go to best and 2x2 two two. Um, I'm gonna leave everything else the same I'm gonna go to options um, I believe everything there is good and I'm gonna go down to effect and I'm gonna go ambient occlusion I'm going to go to global illumination. I'm going to go to lens effects, uh, color correction, and last but not, where is it? depth of field? All right. So uh, most of these things you don't have to touch, but for depth of field, uh, you just want to go to like uh, in between one and three, depending on what you're going to do. I'm going to go like a 1.5, I guess, for now. And then I'm going to check the second use. Uh, right there so make sure that's checked and then for color correction um, these are just the settings I use you can use whatever but for saturation I go 4 and then brightness I go 2 contrast uh, 20 um, <clears throat> exposure 0 gamma 1 and then everything else stays there um, you can of course change these um, to fit your project whatever you're doing um, all that good stuff. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how to model uh, a building real quick and then um, show you some lighting and stuff. Um, but first, I kind of want to explain low poly and what it is and how you can like create certain things. So that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get a capsule real quick. And if I render this capsule, actually, it would just be black. I need a light. So let me grab a light, bring it out here. All right, so if I render this real quick, you can see it's just like a normal rounded capsule uh, it's all good um, and to get this uh, low poly effect that everyone does nowadays and it looks it's actually really cool looking and stuff there's a lot you can do with it but um, basically if I delete this fong tag which is the two little balls to the right you just want to delete that and if I render this you can see it's uh, it's not rounded anymore it uh, it fits the shape of the segments that are there and it's all just uh, flat squares um, and uh, you want to lower segments as low as you can so I'd like lower this to like five I guess and then the caps down height segments down and then that'd be like a low poly capsule maybe have a few more segments there or some but that's the, the gist of low poly you just lower the segments and uh, take away the the rounding fong tags and stuff um, and one thing you can do to create that, um, so if I, if I were to have a plane, say I have a plane, and let me just make this editable, so I just click C on the keyboard to make it an object, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna delete the fong tag, as you can see it's just a normal uh, flat um, uh, plane, that's what it's called, let me get this light on it, if it yeah there we go. <clears throat> so if I were to go to my deformers here, or uh, what are, whatever these called, uh, I, for, I forget what you call them. I think they're called deformers. Pretty sure. Uh, if I go to display, I believe it is displacer. If I go to displacer, I drag that in, and then I go to shading, and I click this arrow here, and I go to noise. It creates uh, this like wave, it, like it distorts it basically. And if I go to the object, and I increase the height, it distorts it even more. 
and you can do that to objects and you can cr like create water like this or something like that and yeah so you can use the displacer to help with uh, low poly effects and things and um, you can also use a thing called polygon, redu polygon reduction which will lower the amount of polygons um, in uh, the your object you have so if I if I put it in this plane you can see it lowers the amount of polygons and creates kind of I want to say a better effect but for certain things it can create a better effect uh, this example of the plane probably won't be the greatest but yeah it actually kind of is like it, it gives it a better look uh, so instead of lowering segments you can use the polygon reduction and it just creates better effects like so um, which is pretty cool good for this is good for water using the plane and the displacer and the polygon reduction uh, creates good water you don't even need the polygon reduction you can just do like that but that's a little too crazy um, that's what I did originally um, before I found out about polygon reduction because I was a noob in a, doing my last project <coughs> but yeah so enough rambling and all that um, next thing uh, I'm going to show you how to model this building that basically summed up the idea of uh, low poly but uh, to get the isometric view we want to go to cameras uh, and we want to go to the bottom and you want to go to isometric and you get this isometric view I'm just going to delete this light and what I'd like to do is go to my camera get a camera and uh, I want to figure out where I'm going to place it for my project so say I want it here for my project and I know for a fact I want it here and this is where I'm going to render from I'm just going to right click go to cinema 4d tags and put protection on it so uh, no matter what I can't like move uh, actually you gotta click the yeah this has to be white for it to be selected so you're in the camera but uh, once you're in it you, it doesn't move uh, you can't move the view it just stays locked like that but then I like to create another camera and then this one is the one that uh, I move with in the isometric view like back and forth and oh, did I go what the heck just happened I, think I zoomed out really far oh yeah there we go so like you can zoom out and move with this one and then if I unselect that you can see I'm still in the isometric view but like I don't want to be anymore I kind of want to move around um, so I go to camera and perspective and that, that way it's back to the normal uh, viewing you can go all the way around but if I were to go back in the isometric view I'd go here and uh, modeling things I'd go in here and just go back between that and the perspective mode and if I wanted to see what it looked like f like in my final project I'd go to the main camera and see it from there but yes yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make a quick building um, I was actually asked this quite a few times um, because I used it twice in my last project so I'm just gonna get a cube and I'm gonna increase the size of it a little bit maybe raise it up let's see how this looks yeah, I'll put it down alright so something like that and then I'm gonna go uh, I'm actually gonna even this out to 450 because that's bothering my OCD 450 alright and then I'm gonna increase the segments um, of the Y and uh, I guess I could do the X now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at the Y um, I'm gonna do 10 and then I'm gonna delete the phone tag I'm gonna click C on the keyboard and I'm gonna create a new material and I'm just gonna make a like mid gray somewhere in the middle make a gray and uncheck specular and I'm actually gonna make this a little darker and I'm in oh crap okay screwed that up there we go so it's a darker gray um, just the color selected that's it and I'm gonna drag that on and then I'm gonna go to the selection tool there and I'm gonna click or I'm gonna press V on my keyboard V as in vet and I'm gonna go uh, yeah I gotta go down here to the, uh, the polygon mode and then I'm gonna go to hold V select loop selection and then I'll leave that alone and I'm gonna go every other up and I guess I'll do the top and I'm gonna go extrude and I'm gonna extrude inwards just a bit and I'm gonna create a new material make the color more of like a bluish like that uncheck specular check reflection and go like 60 somewhere in the 60s range works and I'm gonna drag that on 
like that so it's like a window with reflection type deal and then I'm gonna go to the top and kind of make a roof so I'm gonna extend it up and just bevel it a bit like that and then um, to make a good building because you can see in the low poly you get three sides the ones always gonna be the top so you probably want to add something to there uh, maybe a sign uh, maybe some like vents and things um, but if it's like a small part of your image that's not very uh, like visible, like if I was back here and it's just kind of there, uh, you don't you wouldn't have to do that. But if it's like a main part, like it's kind of big, like off to the side there, you probably want to add some stuff. But right now I'm not. That's just like a general quick building that I used as like a filler in my project. Um, it could be used like as a hotel or something. And then what I also did was duplicate it, and then I got an atom array. And I put the duplicated one in the atom array, and I just made that the sphere radius one ish, I believe. Yeah, somewhere along there. And I uh, just kind of duplicated that gray, make it a little lighter, something like that, and just put that on the atom array. And there you go, it's kind of a cool effect uh, for the building. Um, it worked a lot better in my project. Uh, this one isn't as good of it as isn't as good of an example, but I mean it works. Um, but yeah, so now if I were to render this out, it'd just be plain dark, uh, plain black, like all blackness, and wouldn't matter. So I'm just gonna go and set up uh, some lights. So I'm gonna put everything here in a group by selecting it all, right clicking and clicking group objects, and then I'm gonna go to my light get a light and I'm gonna open this again uh, so I can play with my views uh, and I'm gonna go out of the camera and I wanna find uh, exactly where the front is so this is the front that I'm looking at and I wanna get this light I'm gonna drag it up and forward and I'm gonna go to shadow shadow map soft and then I'm gonna go intensity around 30 so I'll just go 30 and I'm gonna drag this forward and up somewhere in here so it's like it's in the front and then slightly off to the side and up so it's like it's basically the Sun uh, type deal so you can put this wherever I like it in the front uh, where it'd be visible like this is where it's hitting in this area um, yeah and then uh, we want to get another light so let me get back in here and we're gonna make this more of a blue color so we're gonna like go like a grayish blue like that intensity around like 20 we could do like 20 to 30 you want it less than the the main light though the first light you made and shadow um, make that shadow map soft and then this will be off to the left and duplicate it and go off to the right and then select them both and then you can go like up a little move that over I guess <coughs> something like that and then finally we want to go and get a physical sky so it's in this tab next to the deformers get a physical sky and let's go to basic let's see what we have to play with uh, you just want to leave it at 12 uh, the time at 12 noon uh, and just whatever month doesn't really matter uh, gamma correction I'm just gonna lower this so like 1.1 you can go like one probably actually I'm gonna go one just because it's even number I guess um, let's go to the Sun uh, let's customize our own color click that and just drag the bar into like the orangish range just click OK that's more of a sun feel color um, and then let's right click on the physical sky go to cinema 40 tags and we're gonna go to compositing and if you click the physical sky again you'll have a tab called compositing um, you can just leave the settings like that and now if we go back to our camera view let's go to our main one um, and let's click render we should get a pretty decent looking um, model and I'll just pause this real quick 
all right there we go see now this is what we get um, you can see this is kind of a dark color so maybe we would want to lighten up this gray uh, and get a better result um, you can just play around with these lights too um, maybe the main the main one I'd maybe uh, move slightly more to the right maybe up a little more and back a little further um, that probably would be better as you can see it doesn't hit the side very well but whatever um, that's basically introduction to low poly guys I hope you enjoy this tutorial I know it's quite kind of boring but I was trying to explain things and show things it was really focused usually I'm more kind of like outgoing and stuff but uh, just, just boring tutorial whatever I guess I don't know um, but hopefully you guys learn something hopefully you guys uh, enjoy low poly and isometric projects like I do um, I know if you guys are looking for inspiration on them a few people are like Kira uh, Aether um, and uh, Norman I believe his name is it Norman yeah, I think it's Norman I'll put those three guys in the description they're three really good uh, low poly um, and isometric designers um, so yeah thank you guys for watching please leave a like if this helped let me know if you guys want more um, if I do more tutorials on this kind of stuff it'd probably be more specific stuff like how to model like trees or something but I know like trees are everywhere that's why I didn't show it in this uh, you can find that in so many tutorials but uh, yeah for the third time thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later peace